Hello and welcome once again to the West Real Estate Program, the program that gives you all the best information on everything to do with real estate and all the advice is given by professionals involved within the industry. I'm going to talk to the wonderful people from 740 Designs this week. We also have a half house heating competition which is nearly finished. I'll talk more about it later but here's what the rest of the team are up to this week. Today I get some advice on building your own home and also how to finance it. I meet a real estate agency ideally placed to serve Perth's booming inner city market. Retro vintage furniture is making a comeback and today I check out a candy store for lovers of iconic design. Thank you team, looking forward to all that. Today I'm meeting Alex from 740 Designs who is great. I've seen her before and she's really brilliant at her work. When it comes to interior designing things, she's a genius. I'm going inside now to find her. Alex from 740 Designs. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm hi. Peter, nice to meet you. You too. I've seen you many times on the show before, mm -hmm. but I want to know, um, I'm going to give you a hypothetical. Yep. So what your job is, if I, tell me if I'm wrong. I've got a house, I've just bought a house, yep. old, new, doesn't matter, but it's a shell. Yep. And do I come to you then to give it a flavour, if you like, so I can on-sell it or, or live in it even? Definitely. Well, what we can do is we can come out and give you a quote, either yep. for hire or for purchase. Right. And then we'll go back to the warehouse, we'll measure up your spaces and then we'll find furniture which is perfect for you. And then we can install it and it'll look as fabulous as this. Okay, so you've got the sort of eye that looks into an empty house and goes, right, I think this is good. This would be great in sort of African style. Yeah. And then you go and bring all your African gear in. But we choose furniture which will really complement the interiors to create a flow and rhythm throughout the space. Flow and rhythm? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> That's like that. It's really good. Thank you. Stay with me. You're going to be with me from the entire program, okay? Yeah. Okay, so the tape, it's going to be a great ride. We're going to go through this house later on, but now here's Sarah. She's talking real estate. When it comes to making the biggest financial decision of your life, and that's probably going to be buying or selling your home or investment property, you want to be confident the real estate agent you've carefully selected will deliver. So let me introduce to you Real Estate 88, a fresh new offering in the Perth real estate market. Hi Jasmine. Welcome. Now Real Estate 88 has such an interesting name. Can you tell me what it represents? Absolutely. When we thought of Real Estate 88, obviously we want to be part of, of what is sometimes somebody's biggest financial decision of their life. So for us, um, having the number eight in, in the name was very important because it's all about luck and prosperity. And of course, real estate comes with the territory. And your sales office is in such an exclusive location. We picked this location simply because of the fact that it is so close to the CBD. We are exclusive to the CBD and the inner city. And of course, you can't get a better location than this. So let's go check it out. Thanks. <laughs> Sarah, this is Peter. Hi Peter, how are you? Good Sarah, how are you? I'm good. This office is really impressive. What kind of properties do you sell? We sell simple studios, um, investment properties, luxury apartments and multi-million dollar homes. So what do you think is Real Estate 88's point of difference in the real estate market? Um, the people make the business, the people we employ. Fantastic. Now we're coming back, we're going to be talking to Julie about the rental market, I believe. Yes, Julie's just listed a fantastic penthouse in Adelaide Terrace and she's really looking forward to meeting you. Thank you, Sarah. Très bien. I'm still at my Halle French theme department in Darlish. After the break, more Sarah. Sarah Pater. Oh. Oh. Pierre is more attractive than Dan Paris. Pierre is more attractive than Dan Paris. Ooh, welcome back. Oh, now he's Sarah with part two of the friends that already edited. I'm back with Julie from Real Estate 88. Hi Julie. Hi Sarah. Now you're the property manager at Real Estate 88 and you've been in the industry for more than 15 years, is that right? Yes, that is right. I've been in real estate for 20 years and specialising in property management for 15 years. And you deal mainly with inner city rentals. How is that aspect of the market doing at the moment? It's absolutely booming. The resource sector um, is driving the rental market in the city at the moment with lots of people coming here for work and seeking rental accommodation. 
So we're in this gorgeous penthouse apartment right now available for rent. Can you tell me about it? Yes, certainly. We're in a um, brand new building here at Fair Lanes, which is Adelaide Terrace, East Perth. The apartment we're in is on the top floor penthouse apartment with three bedrooms and it has been set up specifically for the corporate executive market. And yeah. what does a place like this, what kind of rent does it attract? Well, we have in the city rents uh, range from about $450 per week for like a small one bedroom studio apartment mostly sitting around $1,000 per week rent and something like this at the top end of the market is around $2,000 per week. And it comes fully furnished? Fully furnished. It is all set up so that our client will just come in with their suitcase and they'll start living. Thanks Julie. Later in the show we're also going to be talking to Brendan from Real Estate 88 about the changing face of Perth and its impact on the WA housing market. Being a show that's passionate about property we take great pride each week in discovering those products we think you'll love the most and then passing on as much as we can about it within a three minute window. So when something exceptional falls in our lap, it's hard to resist not putting it to the test. Seeing how far it sort of bends before it breaks. This is a story about security screens. Not just any, these are some of the best. They're manufactured around the globe by ClearShield Stainless Steel who create somewhat unique screens and doors moulding innovative technology into their elegant designs. It's a compliment to any style of building without doubt. Now we've had these guys on the show a couple of times now and I think we've agreed this is a product that for a number of reasons we're going to see popping up all over the place. The pros, a smooth scratch free surface that's easy to clean and almost impossible to break. The cons, none so far. Steve, great to have you on the show again. Thanks, Sam. Mate, you're becoming a regular, and this yep. is your third visit. We've tested this product with uh, around the home. It's fantastic. It's also yep. a great alternative to uh, aged care facilities. Yes, it is. Where do we go from here? Well, firstly, on, on the residential market, we're very proud of that product. It's a premium product. The aged care facility, we're super because it's a much safer product for the elderly people. But where we go from here, Dan, is cyclone protection. We're super excited about that. We've got toys, and we're boys. Would you like to see the biggest gun? A gun? Yeah. What are we doing? Firing it. Oh mate, let's go. We <laughs> finally have some fun on this show. Yeah. Dan, I'd yeah. like to introduce you to Jamie Katsikas. Jamie. Hey, Dan, and how his are piece you? of wood. Great to meet you. I think I'll leave. Oh, don't, well, you're not going to hit me with this, eh? No, no, certainly not, Dan. I, I'm assuming it's got something to do with this. Yep. Is this, this the gun? Yes, this is our air cannon. Oh, how's this work? Okay, what we do is we load it up with a piece of wood, weighing four kilograms. Yep. Slides in here. We charge her up and we fire uh, that piece of wood at our screen at up to 156 kilometres an hour. And how does it react? As you can see, all it does is it puts a dent in the screen, but it, it protects people from the uh, you know, flying debris in cyclonic region. Yeah, it's perfect. And I guess yep. all the standards, the Australian standards for cyclonic debris screens have changed recently. How yes, they have. Clear Shield reacted to that? Yeah, well look, we've been uh, testing for quite some time now and we've, we've reached the mark. We've, we've got products that suffice that new standard. So any new technology that's... Uh, yep. Yeah, well, we have a paint and penning uh, design of our new uh, energy absorbing frame, and that's actually part of the secret behind our screen, Dan. In fact, this stuff is so strong, it meets the new Australian standards for public cyclone shelters. Of course, if you'd like to know more, and let's face it, who wouldn't? Go to westrealestate.com.au, follow the links. Isn't it refreshing to see there's still people out there that are driven to create something that lasts? to discover the potential of a product rather than being drawn by the influences of cost cutting. Here's to quality, I say. I'm here with John Perkadani, the Managing Director of Realmark for our weekly property tips chat. Hi John. Hi Sarah. So today we're going to be talking about renting. Now there's some things that people should be aware of when trying to protect their asset. Sure. So let's start with the bond. What sure. is that? A bond's a monetary uh, security taken up front from a tenant, um, it's usually a substantial amount and it's there to protect the landlord if there's a default on the rental payments or if there's damage to the property and then that can be augmented by landlord insurance as well. Now there's a document called the Property Condition Report which right. you're referring to, how mm -hmm. does that work? A property condition report is the, the sort of the record of how the property is when you first move into the property. Very crucial document, it um, uh, you know, should be augmented with lots of photography and good descriptive text. So what if there is a discrepancy between an owner and an occupier? Well, you know, this is where the property condition report and the subsequent inspections are really crucial because at the end of the day, you've got a reference point. So if, if, it's, if it's weak, then you're going to have a problem. So it's very good to have that documentation in place. 
It all sounds like a bit of a headache. Yeah. Surely Real Mark can manage that on client's behalf. Sure, it can be a headache and you can end up in court, which is not very pleasant. So getting a good property manager like Real Mark where they can choose the right tenant, vet the tenant, do the documentation properly in accordance with the Act, uh, and then just manage that relationship really well is crucial to having a secure investment, but an easy care investment as well. Sounds like a good idea. Thanks, Thank you, John. So if you're looking for an advantage, whether you're buying, selling or renting your investment property, go to realmark.com.au. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, wonderful John Perkadani. Now, don't forget about our half house heating competition. Get involved, get a copy of the West. There's a code word in there. Get that code word and go to our website, westrealestate.com.au and follow the prompts. Get yourself involved, it's fantastic. After the break, Dan's gonna be talking to the wonderful Dave Devonish, talking finance. Welcome back. Now here's Dan talking finance with Dave Devonish, a nice guy. Oh, gee, it's carpets, okay. Over the past few weeks in the show, I've been catching up with David Devonish from Smartline Personal Mortgage Advisors. Now we've spoken a lot about how to maximise your borrowing capacity. Once you've got the money, the challenge is to pay it off. I think I need more advice. Dave, how are you? Good, thanks, Dan. Now, a mortgage is something that uh, is quite a weight on the shoulders. I guess, is there a way to pay it off any earlier? Well, there are plenty of ways. Um, a couple of tips, though. Firstly, is to focus on loans that are higher interest than your, your home loan. Mm. And by that, I mean credit cards, personal loans, car loans, for example. Focus on accelerating your repayments for those and paying them off. But then, once you've got through those, then focus on the home loan. So does it attract any fees, like a standard home loan, for example, can sometime attract fees if you, if you want to exit earlier? Normally not. I mean, on a fixed rate loan, you can incur penalties for paying off earlier. Most variable interest rate loans don't have any penalties. So I guess what would it come down to the outset, having some really good advice and making sure that, uh, you know, everything's sort of covered in that sense as well? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, in all these circumstances, meet up with your mortgage advisor, get that free health check on your existing loan, see how much flexibility there is in that loan for you to make these accelerated repayments, uh, get some advice on a new loan and take it from there. How important is it to have that sort of home loan health check, I suppose? Oh, we'd recommend a client does it every year. Our advisors talk to their clients each year and does a review on the home loan, make sure it's the sharpest and, and the most appropriate for their personal circumstances. Mate, hey, if there's a, someone out there that wants more advice, is there somewhere they can go? Yep, call us, meet with one of our advisors, talk about that health check with your, uh, with your advisor, talk about new loans, or go to our website, smartline.com.au. Great to see you, Dave. Okay, Dan. We'll catch up with Dave again next week on the show. I'm back with Brendan from Real Estate 88. Hi Brendan. Hi Sarah. Now you're a real estate agent with Real Estate 88. Is there a particular aspect of the market that you deal with? There certainly is. For the astute inner city investors, the high yielding investment properties, um, and secondly for your homeowners, luxury well appointed homes. Do you think Perth is becoming a more affordable place to live? It certainly is Sarah. With the reduction in the uh, interest rates, purchasing a home and paying back a mortgage is a lot more affordable. Also as a renter, there are a few more properties coming on the market with some new developments finishing in the next uh, 6 to 12 months, uh, making rentals a little bit more stable. And speaking of developments, there's so much going on in Perth at the moment, isn't there? There certainly is. Uh, the Elizabeth Quay is the flagship for the city of Perth. That's about 10 hectares of waterfront redevelopment. Um, in East Perth, you've got the uh, Riverside redevelopment, another 40 hectares of hotel, leisure, commercial and residential. Um, and in Northbridge, of course, the CityLink redevelopment. So if somebody is thinking of moving to Perth, can you offer them advice? I certainly can. Um, the best advice is to call a local real estate agent. Someone who knows the area, knows the trends in the market, and someone who can point you in the right direction. Great, thanks so much, Brendan. You're most welcome. So if you think Real Estate 88's friendly and experienced team can help you, go to re88.com.au or you can go to our website, westrealestate.com.au and follow the links. Thank you, Sarah. After the break, we'll be back with Alex from 740 Designs. I'll be meeting her in the bedroom. Oh, she comes. Welcome back to the West Real Estate Program. I'm with the wonderful Alex from 740 Designs. I'm in this bedroom, which has been themed. I'm not sure what the theme is yet. Alex! Yeah! In the bedroom, hi! Hi! 
Higher. Great. Now, I love this room. It's got some beautiful colours. I, mean, I love blacks and greys and whites, so hey, I'm in, I'm in paradise. What is it? What's the theme of it? Well, the interiors have been inspired um, by Chateau Versailles, built by King Louis XIV. Oh, so ho, ho. we've gone with a French theme. Love it. Yeah, we've used a lot of flocking. We've really layered this room with the rug, the lamps, the occasional pieces, um, to really add that warmth back into the space. Love it. Let's have a look at the rest. Yeah. Go, you go. Sorry. You go. Wait for me, Ellie! Wait for me! Magnifique. Chandeliers. Oh, my lord, look! Look at this! French, but let me cake, I said to you! All the people near the door. I didn't know if I said it in the last bit, it doesn't matter. I love it. The French theme's working beautifully. Yeah, it's fantastic. Talk to me through it, come on. Well, for example, the console here, we've got ornate <gasps> carvings. Look at the console. Um, which are reminiscent of the era in the French and the Palace of Versailles. Yeah. Then we've gone with quite a simple colour scheme. We've just used a few pastel blues, soft purples, as to not take away from the dramatic interiors. The black and whites. Yeah. If you're a colleague fan, you go nuts. I love those big, those things. What are they hydrangeas. called? Hydrangeas. Hydrangeas. Yeah. I love a hydrangea. I think it's great. No, I'm that happy with it. Yeah. I think I want to buy it. Yeah. So how do I go about that? Well. I can buy everything in it, can't I? Yeah, All you the can. stuff you've put in here, I can, I can keep. Yeah, you can. Great. Just go see um, Justin at Cape Horn Young in yeah. Claremont and he'll sort you out. Okay. Or uh, even better, hop on our website and see our other fabulous work. And which you have an endless amount of fabulous work. Thank you, Alex. Never and ending. thank you, everyone at 740 Designs, for yeah. coming and setting it up. It's no been problems. great. Now, here's Dan, or speaking of things, Paris, is Dan Paris and his home, Greg Gemmel from Greg Gemmel Erm. Craig Gemmel from Gemmel Homes is no stranger to this show and he's here with me again. How are you, Craig? Yeah, great, Dan. Now, for the past few months, we've talked about the process of building your own home. Recently, it's construction, getting your hands dirty, it's the fun bit. Now, we've got the slab down, we've got the walls up, roof's on, what do we do next? The house is advancing quite rapidly here, Dan. As you said, we've put the roof cover on, now we're going to work our way towards lock-up. So we've got the plastering going in, and then lock-up is basically we're moving towards getting the cabinets in and, and fitting off a lot of things in your home, like your electrical appliances or your tapware. So I guess at this point, the house starts to look like less of four walls and, uh, and a roof and actually starts to become a bit more of a home, doesn't it? Yes, you're spot on. We're turning a house into a home, Dan. Yeah. So at this point too, can I come on site as a client and have a look around just to check everything's all right? One of the most important meetings we have is just before the tiler commences. We have a meeting with the, our client, um, the supervisor and the tiler just to make sure we've got the right tiles and we're going to put them in the right places. And at what point do I make a payment? You would have been making your progress payments all the way through, Dan. So basically it's slab down, plate height, roof cover, lock up, and then we're moving towards our practical completion where we're going to hand the home over to yourself. And I guess it's getting pretty close to the point where I can actually move in and you know, start living in it. Yes, we basically do a walkthrough with you and the supervisor, just make sure you're happy with everything in the home. Anything that needs rectification gets documented. We fix that up and we give you your keys. Oh, we might talk about that next week on the show about actually moving in and all the formalities of that. Mate, thanks for joining me. Look forward to it. We'll catch up with Craig next week. It has long been said that history repeats itself. And when it comes to decorating your home, retro vintage furniture is making a comeback. To some, it's an acquired taste, but to others, it's a unique style with a timeless appeal. So no longer do you have to search through garage sales and swap meets to enrich your home with character from the past, because today I'm gonna to introduce you to Perth's best kept secret. Design Direct is a new and exciting furniture store which showcases a huge range of timeless and iconic replica designer furniture, together with stylish contemporary pieces. Celebrating their second successful year, Design Direct have just moved to a new showroom in O'Connor to cater for their ever-increasing stock and now have the largest collection of replica furniture in WA. A look around the showroom entices you to take a trip down memory lane as you rediscover pieces as far back as the 1920s right through to the late 1970s. This egg chair in Ottoman is a true classic that will never go out of style. It was designed by Arne Jacobson in 1958 for lobby and reception areas because its unique style offers some privacy. The genuine retails for $8,710 and you can get this one for one eighth of the price. A keen renovator, Debbie Martella opened Design Direct in 2010 after noticing there was a strong market for replica furniture here in WA. So Debbie, tell us the story behind why you decided to open a replica furniture store. Um, I was renovating homes and when it came time to doing the furnishings, I couldn't find 
the look that I was looking for over here. So all the furniture was available from the Eastern States, mm. um, but to get it freighted across was very expensive. So you choose all the furniture yourself and import directly? Yes, we import directly and we place a very strong focus on quality. The furniture looks great for homes of all styles, be it contemporary, art deco or classic. And the pieces still look as stylish today as when they were first designed. You'll see familiar looking pieces like the quintessential modern classic Eames lounge chair or the iconic Borg Mojensen sofa, renowned for its acute comfort and streamlined design, as well as pieces you've seen in a magazine or movie. Like this replica ball chair, which was featured in Men in Black, Dazed and Confused and Austin Powers. Designed in 1963, the ball chair is often dubbed a room within a room, giving a private space to kick back and relax and read a good book. Yeah, baby. So if you want to add some retro vintage charm to your home without paying a hefty price or having to search through garage sales to find a diamond in the rough, then you must take a visit to Design Direct in O'Connor. For more information on their impressive and unique product range, you can follow the links from our website. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, team. That's all we've got time for this week. We trust you've enjoyed the program. Don't forget about that half house eating competition. Get involved, get a copy of the West. There's a code word. Go to our website with that code word, follow the prompts, and get yourself on board. It's nearly finished. Be quick. Uh, that's all we've got time for. Thanks, 740. Thanks, everyone who helped for this week. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you next time. And that's a wrap. 